you guys I hope you're all doing really well we are currently experiencing a heat wave in the UK so if I look very shiny in this video that will be why I've been trying to film this video for multiple days but it's just been too hot and today it's a little bit more bearable so I am filming this video for you guys because I really wanted to show you all of the new items I've been picking up recently so I have a few new items to show you and then some vintage items as well um, some of which are like my dream vintage items so I can't wait to share them with you I'm gonna start with the sale items I picked up in Mango and the first one is this linen suit that I'm wearing I've never seen a more rosy suit in my life the jacket is sort of this oversized style, I've just got it chucked over my shoulders for now, just to keep me cool. And I've styled it with this Bardo style tight fitting white t-shirt. So this is what the jacket looks like, just chucked over. And then I will pop it on, and that is the suit jacket, it's got two buttons, and I just love it. I think it's such a gorgeous take on a suit. And I've been wanting to add a suit to my wardrobe for ages because I just think they're so fun for like special occasions to wear a suit instead of a dress. Um, and it comes with matching trousers and the trousers are also the thing that are very rosy because they are flared linen trousers. They are quite on the long side so I'm probably going to have to take them up because I'm wearing them with my favourite heels and I probably wouldn't go any higher than this. So I'll just take them up by like an inch or something. Um, but they fit really nicely and I actually had to go a size down in these. So these are a size 6 and I'm usually a size 8 in trousers. Um, just for reference if you're wanting to pick some up. So yeah, both these items were in the sale and I am definitely keeping them because I just feel so cool wearing this and they have little pockets that I need to unstitch. Um, I think it would look really cool with like a really white bag, um, sort of like a slouchy bag, um, and yeah, I just think it's a bit of fun. This is a close up of the print, it's got a really pretty light blue ditzy floral with a little bit of lime green actually in there. I might just show you the trousers. These are the trousers without the jacket on, if you're interested in those. And they fit really nicely. And so far, I've sat down in them for a little bit, but they haven't creased up hugely, so that's good. The next two items from Mango were also in the sale, but are very much not summer related. <laughs> but I saw them and I thought that they were very me and that I'd get a lot of wear out of them. So I picked up these boots and obviously not be wearing these right now in 30 degree weather um, but I loved the style of them I loved how they weren't too high but they still had a bit of a heel and they have a nice grippy bottom and especially in the winter I feel like you need that little bit of grip in your boots um, so I love these and I feel like they kind of give a little bit of a 60s feel to them in the sort of clean slimline look and apparently they're made with sustainable leather, so that's nice to know. And then finally from Mango I picked up this gorgeous sweatshirt which has sort of like slightly puffed sleeves and then a thin cuff. And this is very much the style I like to sort of design my dresses, so I thought that this would be the perfect sweatshirt for me. I'm not going to try it on right now because it is about a million degrees in here, um, but here it is so gorgeous I got a size small it's quite a tight fitting sweatshirt um, so if you don't want it to be tight fitting then I'd size up but I think it sort of suits that in the shape and everything while we're on the subject of jumpers I might just quickly mention this one that I picked up a while ago in M&S but they probably still have it um, and it's this cotton jumper so a bit more breathable <laughs> um, and it's also got the gorgeous puffed sleeves and a really nice thin cuff. Um, I could probably try this one on for you guys because it's not too hot whereas the other one is like a fluffy sweatshirt and I just could not deal with that right now. So it's this very pretty knitted jumper, very tight cuffs. I sized up in this jumper because I tried the size 8 on and the cuff was literally cutting off my circulation. <laughs> So I sized up and it's much better but it's still visibly there on the cuff so if you don't like things being like tight on your body then I wouldn't 
go for this jumper but I really love it. Yeah I just thought it looked like a Cezanne jumper but at an M&S price tag which I was very happy about. On the subject of Cezanne jumpers I completely forgot that I picked this up um, before I moved house and that's probably why I haven't remembered it but it is in my wardrobe and I do love this jumper, let me try it on. It's the most flattering knitted top I think I've ever owned. It's got beautiful scalloped detailing around the neckline and I just love it. Suzanne really do know how to do knitwear. As with most Suzanne pieces, it's a bit of an investment but I just think it's a gorgeous top and it goes with so many things. It goes nicely with these trousers tucked in or even out it looks quite good um, so yeah let me know what you guys think I will link everything down below for you to check out so this haul is definitely a real mishmash of timings in which I bought everything but I think that's good because I don't I'm not really in the habit of buying a lot at once now I'm just more conscious about what I'm buying um, and I can't remember if I've ever shown this dress in a video but I've been wearing it constantly in this heat wave and I saw that it's back in stock um, so I'll leave the link to it and it's also in the sale again um, and it's just one of my favourite dresses it's from a brand called Doan which is also one of my favourite brands and if I could have every single dress from Doan I would just be in heaven they just make the most gorgeous items um, so this one is a very gorgeous checked mini dress with little ruffle detailing, it looks a bit dishevelled because I've been wearing it so much but it kind of has that look to it anyway. So this is the Doan dress on and it's just so gorgeous. I love the puff sleeves and all the little slightly embroidered ruffled scalloped trim. I would love to design for this company but they're out in California so unless I want to relocate anytime soon I don't think that's going to happen <laughs> the next dress was actually gifted to me when I did a job with Farfetch and it's from the brand Anna Kwan which is an Australian brand look at the sleeves on this dress they are just here's the full length of the dress and I just love it I really think if you're going to invest in a nice knitted dress I would highly recommend this one. Um, I also have a 10% Farfetch code which should still be working um, which I will leave next to the link for this dress if you're interested. This will be the perfect dress for like a summer evening event when it gets slightly cooler and also I'm really excited to start wearing it in autumn. So yeah another gorgeous dress that's been added to my wardrobe recently. A few weeks ago I popped down to London and I was invited to the Reformation store. Um, I think they have about three in London. I went to the Notting Hill one and I really enjoyed my experience there because they had, it was just so different to any other shop. Like you chose your dresses that you wanted to try on on this big computer screen and then you went to the changing room and then if you fancied something else you could find it on your computer in your changing room and go and try it on. Well they bring it out to you and you can just try it on. Um, so it was a pretty cool experience um, and I ended up coming away with this gorgeous dress which they very kindly gifted to me. It's made out of linen and if you don't know Reformation is also a sustainable brand. So they use a lot of dead stock fabric. Um, I just love this dress, it's so flattering. It's got like a ruffled trim at the bottom and it's got this nice slit. Um, so yeah, and it literally just holds you so nicely. This is just my normal size, size eight. So I'd stick to your normal size for reformation. The only thing that I have to watch out for when wearing this dress is getting sunburnt because there is an awful lot of my chest and back on show <laughs> um, but as long as I wear sun cream then it'll be okay. We're now on to vintage dresses and I can't wait to show this one to you. I finally managed to get my hands on a 1970s Laura Ashley vintage dress and it does not disappoint. I bought this on eBay in a bidding war um, and actually got a really good price for it um, compared to 
other Laura Ashley dresses that are on there. It's in such a wearable print. I really love this brown fabric. It's actually quite similar fabric to one I used um, previously in a collection of mine. Um, and then I love the lace trim. And it's got this gathered skirt at the bottom. And it's just heaven. It's so interesting to see the construction of it as well. You can really tell it's been handmade. It's still even got some of the, you know, bits of overlocking thread attached to certain bits. So I just love it. I really, really think it's such a special piece to have in my wardrobe. The hem is just hand tacked. It's just amazing to see the history in this dress of the brand and I'm just over the moon to finally own a dress from Laura Ashley that's made when she just started out. Look at the cute old Laura Ashley label and they were made in Wales very first when they started out and then they obviously moved to China and everything had everything made there so you know it's an early one if it's made in Wales. The next vintage dress is also from Laura Ashley and I managed to find this at the same time as the other one. This was a lot cheaper because it's sort of like a 1980s um, Laura Ashley dress and it's in their sort of sailor style. It's got some really gorgeous lace detailing on the collar and little embroidery at the front in this front panel and on the back of the collar. Um, and it's just, again, I love how it's made, like this is a separate panel that buttons underneath the collar. And this dress is on the larger side for me, um, so it's sort of got a more oversized fit. Um, but I could probably tailor it in if I wanted to, but I actually quite like how it just sort of flows. I feel like with this one more than the previous one I would have to wear some more modern accessories with it to sort of vamp it up a bit. <laughs> Um, just to make sure it doesn't look too granny style. And then the final dress is one I've shown in a previous video but I thought I would just pop it in here again to share the love of it because it's just stunning and it's this handmade vintage maxi dress. This is a better idea of it full length and it's actually very flattering I think because it's tied around the bust and then it just sort of flows down to the floor and the sleeves are nice and long. I might actually take this to a wedding that I'm going to in Switzerland because if it's gonna be outside, lots of it, then I will be nice and covered up from the sunshine in Switzerland, which is very intense sun. <laughs> so there we go, those are all of the new in items to my wardrobe, whether they're brand new or vintage. Um, I'm very happy with all of them and I can't wait to start wearing them properly. As always, I will link everything down below for you guys to check out. Um, and also, a little plug for the end, I've just launched some quilted cushion covers on my website. So if you saw my previous, I think it was my previous video where I was making some, then those are now available to shop on my website. Um, so I'll leave that link as well. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!